Hello Tubers, welcome to this episode of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with me Jason Bangers and me Mr Smiling Chumley Warner. Today we are going to settle the debate, which is best, teeth whitening strips or that bloody high smile gel you keep seeing in the adverts. Stick with us and you will find out. Simon, I've been, I'm a YouTuber and I watch YouTube constantly, right? And this advert keeps coming up over and over and over again, this high smile. And it drives me mad to the point where I thought, right, I'm going to buy it and test it, see if yeah. it works. Now, I'd already bought these teeth whitening strips, all right? So you see these a lot. Now, I have noticed, Simon, I think you pointed it out to me, actually, that over the last couple of years, Simon's teeth seem to be nice and white. And mine are going yellow. And Cy pointed out to me, maybe it's this thing. So, we think this is causing my teeth to yellow, because I've never smoked in my life, but I vape now, Cy. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 naughty boy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it, it helps with certain things. Which one's best? Well, Cy and I kind of had an idea. There's, the problem is, if you look at the advert with the high smile, you've got this lovely lady and she paints it on with a soft brush on her tooth and then she comes back 30 seconds later with her mouth open and then the gel's still perfectly sat on her tooth and then she wipes it off and it's white, Si. But what, what's the problem with that? That sounds like you just you can move your lips or your tongue or something and it'll just all come off, won't it? It's yeah, just... well, Simon and I come up with a bit of an idea, didn't we, Si? Yeah, so here's the way forward. Get your teeth whitening strips, put the gel on your teeth whitening strips, and then put both of them in your mouth, and there it stays, the gel. And that's what Jay's going to do right now. I'll demonstrate what we mean, right? So these are the teeth whitening strips. They come in. These, And I have to say, these work really well on their own. They're brilliant. They really do work well. But is it going to work better with the high smile as well now i don't think you see that so si. can you see that on there yeah right so that one's for your bottom set and that's for your top set so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna peel this off i'm gonna lay it upside down like that high smile on this tooth whitening strip right in the middle so it gets the bottom teeth and the top and put it liberally you know really go for it you need this stuff to go on and we'll do the same with the bottom one as well. I will do that, but I'll do that off camera. You see it, Si? Yep. Yeah. Right, so I've trapped the gel in. <laughs> it's a bit messy. Yep, yeah, we got the alien blue teeth. Right. This is the new blue teeth. So the sticker's going to hold the gel in. We're going to leave that for half an hour. Uh, should have done it before. Have a look at my bottom teeth. You sure? Yep. And we'll see if they're whiter after half an hour of this. We'll be right back. So. That's the result. Um, <laughs> what do you think, Si? <laughs> I, I think we should send away for some... Uh, Scientific results. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Right. <laughs> Honest opinion, guys. We won't know until we watch the video back, same time as you. Um, my personal opinion is that these strips work brilliantly. They're really good. I can tell the difference when I just use these. I, know, I think you said they're about half the price of the... Uh, these are cheap. Yeah, yeah of the uh, gel stuff. But High smile. These are great. I highly recommend these. These definitely work on their own. The gel, high smile. I'm sorry, just thumbs down. I can't notice any difference with that whatsoever, no matter how I try and apply it. And we've just proven that we've we've held it on for over half an hour. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been it's been a good good half hour, maybe forty minutes even. Um, I can't get the high smile to work at all. The strips work brilliantly. So the idea of the dual action, waste the time. Unless you think that there is an improvement on this video. 
So my advice or our advice on answers in the comments on the see what you think is the best. Yeah, you you suggest maybe there's a slight difference, maybe not. We've not used any extra light or anything. Everything's the same as the same iPhone that I used. Or, or tell us your experience if you yeah. if you've used both products. What do you think is the best? Yeah, and don't forget it's only temporary as well. Because a lot of people think it's a permanent fix, but it ain't. If you go eating crisps and drink Coca-Cola and coffee, your teeth are going to go brown and yellow again. You know, it'll happen. But my advice is, buy these teeth whitening strips. They're bloody brilliant. I can tell a difference with them on their own. They don't work when you put the high smile on. The high smile is no good. It doesn't work. So we're taking the fear out of gear for you, i.e. this gear, Si. Yeah. Don't buy the high smile. No, no, don't watch, don't watch the adverts on this either. <laughs> and and <laughs> drive when, you mad. When you use these strips, it's really satisfying. When you take them off, it's all clattered with kind of gel and stuff. Once you brush your teeth, they feel great, lovely and fresh and white, and all that yellow in is gone. But again, they didn't work today because I put the gel on. So uh, our great idea was not so great. On that note, tubes, we hope you enjoyed our little experiment. Um, so please. Please, please hit that subscribe button. Like, tell your friends, share it around. And click that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching Take the Fear Out of Gear, guys, with me, Jason Bangers. And for me, Mr Chumley Warner. We'll see you on the next one. Remember, keep your teeth clean.